Hello, my name's Ed, or commonly known as Ed at MaxProp. Uh, I'm the CEO of MaxProp Digital, and I'm delighted to be talking to you today about the shift towards a digital mindset and technology, and the opportunities to make money whilst keeping your day job. And through the, through the presentation, I hope to show you how to do that. The four different worlds in property, retail, office, residential, and industrial. These are performing very differently at the moment, and even post-COVID, uh, very differently be than before COVID. I think we've seen a massive move online uh, in general, not just uh, with offices, but with retail as well. So let's start with retail. Retail has been under pressure for a while uh, with a, a weak economy, and now with online shopping, people are buying their groceries online, they're buying all sorts of things online and getting them delivered, and bigger items are getting bought online you know, fridges and washing machines, and some more people even buying cars online. So the, the online movement is, is gained massive momentum during COVID-19 across the world. And I think malls and shops are gonna to have to start reimagining how they, how they operate. I think they're gonna become showrooms. People are gonna be going in just to see and touch and feel the product and possibly then, then buying online anyway. And I think that's been going on for a while. Offices, we're seeing a massive uh, reduction in office space. Everyone's looking at their businesses through a different lens and saying, do we need all the office space? Uh, can we do things differently? Can we hot desk? And can we reduce our costs? And one of the easiest ways to reduce costs is to reduce your space. So offices are, are under pressure and I think will be for a while. I think we'll see some conversions of offices possibly to residential and other uses, uses over time. Industrial is doing a lot better than, than other sectors. Uh, however, its challenges are a weak economy. The logistics sector are, are, is doing well and uh, goods have to get from, from source to destination, whether you buy them online or whether you buy them at a shop, uh, that the goods have to be moved. So logistics is, is done well and I think will con continue to, doing, to, to do well. And then the most exciting sector is residential, uh, which has certainly caught me off guard and, and very excited about what's happening there. Uh, there's a wave of first time buyers that have come into the market due to the, the reduction in the interest rate. And interest rate at 7% now um, is making it very attractive for, for first time buyers that are renting, you know, for the price of, of, a, of a rental around 8,000 Rand, 9,000 Rand, you can buy a nice property. So there's a, the, there's a great first time buying opportunity, which, is, uh, which first time buyers are taking advantage of. And we're seeing a lot of activity in the market at the moment. And I, I think hopefully it lasts. Um, and I think that uh, the residential space is certainly um, very exciting. It's, uh, it shows confidence in the country as well, that if you are buying, you certainly are staying and investing in the economy. And so it certainly bodes well for the future of South Africa that we, we're seeing the residential market hold up under such challenging economic times. So digital technology as an, 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 an enabler, uh, what, does, what does digital do for us and what does technology do for us as an industry? Uh, so it clearly reduces costs and at MaxProp Digital we've, we've started a, a, a totally new business called MaxWap Digital. Uh, we're totally remote. Uh, we don't have any offices. Uh, we have the best tools to support our practitioners and also give our clients a, a professional experience. Um, and that is, that is what technology does for us these days. So it, it first of all reduces your costs and that you don't have to have this expensive rental and overhead. It allows us to scale so we can have um, one practitioner or a thousand practitioners, um, we don't have to keep on uh, expanding office space, getting desks, etc., etc. We're able to, to grow really quickly and we can also jump borders. So we can go to Mauritius and Namibia and that's part of our, our bigger vision in time to come. And then uh, it provides data to become more productive and effective. So uh, we, can, we can use data um, which can be measured uh, and what's critical in any business is measuring what you do and, and then learning from it, uh, you know, verifying that data and verifying those lessons and then, and then making it better. So, so that's, what, uh, that's what digital does, you know, and a classic example is if you put a, 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 an advert in a newspaper, how many people have seen that 
that advert and and what is your response what is your you know you, you don't know you, you put an ad you know once you put the advert in the newspaper well you just hope that someone phones you off it whereas if you place an advert on a digital social media you can then have very deep insight into who is seeing that advert and whether that advert is working so that's one example of of how digital is um, is helping and then uh, we are creating business tools to leverage property practitioners' efforts. So we've created what we call the digital office, which is um, a fantastic tool for property practitioners. Uh, it gives them the tools to win. Uh, it's a listing and a CRM system, and it has a whole lot of other features which, uh, which, can, which make our practitioners far more productive, but more importantly, give the client a better service. Um, and and a more professional service and more a deeper insight into into the transaction. And then, what digital enables is to create opportunities for supplementary income, and that's where we we are saying we can create opportunities for people like yourselves to make money whilst still being in your day job. And uh, I'll speak to that right at the end. We've created a program called the Connector Program. And very excited to be launching it at this uh, virtual property show. So what is what else is digital done? Well, it's certainly enabled working remotely, and I think we've all had a taste of it. Um, and working remotely is uh, been exacerbated by the COVID-19 lockdown, and I think um, people that were thinking about it are now certainly have a very good idea what it's about. Uh, and it's not for everybody. But it's and it's not for every job. So, so what what jobs do suit remote work? Uh, and in my opinion, it's jobs that um, are not don't need um, monitoring on a on an hourly basis. If you're monitoring your employees on an hourly basis and measuring their their productivity on how many hours they spend, uh, then I I don't think remote work is going to work for your business. However, one of the jobs that is perfectly suited to remote work is uh, professional practitioners in real estate um, and the reason is is that they are success-based uh, uh, workers uh, employees um, and they make money out of commission so practitioners make money out of commission the harder they work the more the more money they make and as a result um, you know they, they don't need to be in an office space in fact if you go into a lot of offices um, you will notice there's very few practitioners behind their desks, and, and, and rightly so. They, they need to be in front of clients, and that's why uh, at Matchbox Digital we are totally remote. Um, we have fantastic tools where we stay connected. We use Teams and Office 365 in our digital office to stay connected. And there's certain people that suit remote, remote, remote work and certain people that, that absolutely don't suit it. So if, uh, you know, the advantages are you do you. So if you need to drop your children if it's school or you prefer working in the afternoons and the evenings rather than the mornings or you prefer working in the mornings and want the afternoons and evenings off, you do you. You know, you can work when you want to work and when it makes sense to work. When is it productive? It's pointless working when, when clients are not available. So, you know, is nine o'clock on a Monday morning the right time to try and get a hold of a buyer or seller when they're probably at work themselves? I don't think so. I think possibly, you know, early evenings um, when, they, when they're relaxed, maybe that's the time to, to engage with them around progress on, on their property. So it's completely flexible and uh, it's up to the practitioners to, to, to you do you. Uh, you, you. You do what, what, what suits you and what's gonna make you most productive. We, at Maxprop Digital, we certainly don't uh, prescribe when people uh, work and we don't measure on hours. We work on, on different KPIs. Um, we work on productivity listings, quality of listings, quality of service to the client. Um, and, and the big number is how many sales um, have you done? That's always the exciting part for both the business and the practitioner is how much money are you making? Disadvantages of remote work clearly are distractions. I mean, we've all had children kind of tapping us on the shoulder while we're in the middle of a of a of a, a Teams call, 
Um, and, you know, we've had the gardener who's knocked on the door, um, you know, halfway through a meeting and, and all those distractions that you pick up at home. I do think that uh, for remote work, um, there's going to be some very clever um, remote working pods that come out where, where maybe you'll have a dedicated space in your house where you can enclose a corner with a pod and have um, and have cut out those distractions when you go into your pod then then that's that's going to be where you work um, if you're lucky enough to have a dedicated room and, and an office where you can close the door well that's fantastic but um, I do think that there's going to be some some a lot of movement in the space um, now that remote work is is with us uh, in a very very big way and now for the best part opportunities to supplement your income. At MaxProp Digital, we've created a program called the Connector Program to assist you with making money out of information that you have. Do you know a buyer or a seller? Is it someone in your network, a friend or a family member? If you do, you can simply register for free on our website, MaxProp Digital backslash connector. You can register your lead. We will then follow up and make sure that they are a buyer or a seller and we do the rest. We will, our professional pr practitioners will then conclude the sale transaction. And if we're successful in concluding a sale, you will be paid a fee. And if you're good at generating these leads, then maybe you should consider becoming a practitioner yourself. So becoming a MaxProp Digital Practitioner would be a fantastic choice. All you need is a cell phone, a computer and a vehicle, and you're good to go. We've developed some fantastic online tools. We have a MaxProp Digital office which gives all the tools that you'll need. Plus we use Microsoft 365 environment to support you as much as possible. The process is you'll start as an intern and we'll mentor you remotely. We've linked up with some online service providers that will take you through the necessary training for you to become a full status agent. If this is something that interests you, please go to www.maxrop.digital and register your interest there and we'll be in touch with you shortly. If you're a qualified agent, uh, we'd certainly love to hear from you. And if you're looking for something different, we work remotely. We support your lifestyle in, in terms of you do you. And we certainly look forward to making you successful. We have a fantastic value proposition. We give you revenue share uh, and we give you shareholding uh, on certain targets that, that you meet. And so I, don't, I think that our value proposition is unrivaled out there. And I look forward to, to taking you through it and giving you more information. Thank you for taking the time to listen to me. I really enjoyed sharing some information with you and I look forward to taking some of your questions and uh, please come and visit us at our exhibition booth. I'd love to chat to you further about any questions that you may have. Thank you.